Today in Review This Thing, we are going to pattern test six different TSS loads with the Mossberg SA28 and the Jebs Choke. This is Adrian with Review This Thing, and we are out the range to try another pattern test with this Mossberg SA28. Today we have the Jebs Extra Extra Full Choke, the Burris Fast Fire 3 on top using the Meadow Creek Bounce. We have six different TSS rounds. These, some are nine, some are nine and a half. So they're not perfectly matched, but we're just gonna get a good solid idea of how they do. All of our targets are at 40 yards, just to keep it simple. Let's do it. We're gonna start off our testing with Salt Creek Ammunition. They have some boxes for these now. I just got these last year when they were brand spanking new. So if you buy Salt Creek, you'll have a good box. Okay, we'll go take a look at the target. Keep in mind, this gun is decided in for this choke. So we're really just looking at the pattern that we're gonna count up after we see our target. You can see it's shooting high. There's a quite a bit of shot up above the target. So we'll go get our little handy dandy circle and count them up. In our six inch circle, we got 84 and our 10 inch circle has 184. We got her started. Let's see how the rest of them go. So for our next round, I'm going to aim low just to try to get more of them on the turkey target so it looks better. Next, we are going to shoot the Apex Turkey. You've seen these in, I think, basically every test. So interested to see what this combo does. All righty. So I aimed probably about four-ish inches lower. We'll go see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that aiming boy is much better. I really wish these targets were uh, like they used to be. It's harder to see them from 40 yards away, but that's not too bad and tall right there. Now, again, these are nine and a half, so you expect there to be more shot in this than a nine, but in our six inch circle, 167 and 317 in a 10 inch circle. Pretty much if we can get over 300, we're excited, so pretty impressive. So we'll just keep aiming low for now. And then when we figure out our final setup, we'll definitely get everything signed in. Up next is Foxtrot Ammo, which is brand new to our 28 gauge testing. These are the Cherry Bombs. Definitely excited to see how these do. Looks pretty good from here. Let's get closer. Okay, Foxtrot. That's not bad at all right there. Aimed low again, so need to stick with that. I'm very interested to see how many pellets there are in there. So yet again, that nine and a half shot is a kick and tail. We got 156 in a six inch circle and 393 in a 10 inch circle, which is pretty doggone impressive at 40 yards with a 28 gauge, almost 400 pellets. So let's move on to an oldie goldie on our channel, Verdict Ammunition. Let's see what this Jeb's Choke can do with it. Think I broke our target. I aimed low again on that one, and for that load, it may be a little too low. There it is with a nine shot. So we'll be a little bit fewer pellets, but we got 151 in a six inch and 281 in a 10 inch. We'll love a 28 gauge. Now we are ready to shoot Viper ammunition. The Viper is one that has been pretty consistent out of most chokes. So we'll see if it remains true. Well, aim low again. At least the target held up that time. <laughs> Let's go see. Looks like a pretty solid pattern. I was trying to decide if it shot left, but it actually looks pretty good. Let's count it up. Coming in with 143 in our six inch circle and 267 in our 10 inch circle. Dead turkeys all over the place. Okay, so I saved the rogue ammunition to last because Jeb's chokes are pretty much designed for rogue ammunition. In theory, they should be the best. We shall see. That one hits pretty hard. We shall see how many pellets there are. Definitely looks pretty solid. Let's go count them up and see if this one happened to have the most in that 10 inch circle. So here you can see that the Jeb's Choke works really well with rogue ammunition. We got, with a nine and a half, 
205 in a six inch circle and 348 in a 10 inch circle. So there you have our Mossberg SC28 Jibs extra extra full choke pattern test. I continue to be impressed by the SA28 at 40 yards. It's crazy how many pellets were hitting the target. We had three over 300 in a 10 inch circle and two over 250. So no question, if you can get that red dot all in the turkey's head at 40 yards, no problem. If you like what we do, give us a thumbs up, comment and let us know what you think. And if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching our Mossberg SA28 Jibs Extra Extra Full Turkey Choke Item Test video. While you're here, like it, share it, comment, tell your friends about us, subscribe if you have it, go to reviewthisthingtv.com, subscribe to our newsletter, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, Go Wild, Threads, and check out our hauler store and our Amazon storefront.